City of Hamilton through Hamilton Street Railway was one of the first Ontario municipalities to get into uh, natural gas uh, buses. Back in uh, 2004, uh, Hamilton Street Railway, we decided to get out of the natural gas bus business. In about 2013, uh, diesel prices, uh, gasoline prices were very volatile. In 2013, City Council asked staff to go back and look at the feasibility of uh, getting back into the CNG bus uh, business again. Hamilton Street Railway staff uh, went through a process with a consultant to evaluate the feasibility of getting back into the business. Part of that consultant's report identified savings over the next 20 years, somewhere in the magnitude of over, over $40 million. So one of the light bulb moments get, for getting back into compressed natural gas was at a budget meeting and reviewing what the next year's budget was going to look like after we had purchased 41 new diesel buses. The cost of diesel for the next year was going to go up by $2 million. The question was asked, if we were running natural gas, what would that cost of fuel be going up by for those 41 buses? It was substantially less. One of the most encouraging pieces of this whole project has been when staff came to me, when they'd heard the rumors about going back to CNG, and they were very supportive of the project and they thought it was the right thing to do at the right time, given the amount of time and effort that we put into keeping diesel exhaust clean. A compressed natural gas bus really shines for me, especially in um, how quiet that bus is and how clean the exhaust pipe is. I'm sure everybody that's watching this has been behind a diesel truck or a diesel bus seeing smoke or particulate matter come out of the exhaust pipe. Uh, you haven't seen that on a compressed natural gas bus ever. And for me, that's, that's one of the things that I look at not only for today, but for the future. The restriction on emissions from diesel buses has become more stringent. The complexity of that bus is substantially higher than it used to be. It's very much like your car where there's lots of controls to take care of that. And the exhaust system is as complicated as buses used to be in total. We have just procured and just put into service 18 uh, compressed natural gas powered articulated buses, which are the first in Canada. We have 234 buses in service uh, at this point in time. Going forward, we're expecting our fleet to grow by 126 buses over the next 10 years if council approves our 10 year plan. We've been fueling CNG buses here since 1990-ish. What's different in these dispensers is we now fill to 3,600 PSI, which is a big advantage to us. It allows us to put more fuel on the bus and keep that bus in service for a longer period of time. So the arrangement that we have with Union Gas right now is essentially Union Gas owns the station and we operate the station. So we, we will come out, we'll fill buses, we'll uh, make sure that the station is in good repair. If we have any issues, you know, our phone calls are to Union Gas because they have the contract with the service provider, they have the contract with the OEM for the compressors. So we rely on Union Gas to be the expert in the field to help us deliver the service that we need to deliver 24-7, 365. Working with Union Gas, they've always been approachable. They've always been willing to work with us to figure out uh, uh, solutions to, to some of the issues that we may have. Um, as I stated earlier, they, they you know came open-minded to the table to, to figure out how they could work with the city in, in making this project happen. I think about 35% of the market in the U.S. Is, is going back to CNG buses. L.A. and New York City both uh, have a massive fleets in terms of natural gas buses. So the technology has had improved greatly. We've seen a, a massive increase in terms of natural gas bus usage. The other important factor for us is price predictability. Natural gas as a commodity is much easier to hedge uh, as opposed to diesel as a fuel. Fuel uh, for, for the transit fleet is really one of its most volatile aspects. The other benefits that helped the business case as well was the environmental uh, benefits that came with going from diesel powered buses to natural gas uh, powered buses. The city of Hamilton has targets for emission reduction of 80% by 2050. The plan is uh, to continue to replace diesel buses over the next several years up until about 2020 with CNG buses. And uh, by about 2020, that will mean about half of Transit's fleet has gone back to the CNG buses. In the new uh, natural gas powered buses, I've noticed that the insides are a lot nicer than the old ones. With these new natural gas buses, we're getting great savings and in reducing the emissions. We're all excited to have these buses as a part of our fleet 
in the city of Hamilton. And now we're back to uh, compressed natural gas being uh, the fuel of choice that uh, not only provides uh, economic benefits as well as the uh, environmental benefits that uh, are particularly important in our community as we go forward. And we can save significant amount of money now with this new generation of compressed natural gas and the emissions uh, are improving uh, you know, each and every time out. Significant reductions in terms of greenhouse gas emissions and carbon dioxide is critically important. And we achieve all of that uh, through this new generation of compressed natural gas.